this is a very, very exciting moment for Percolate. And what we're going to try to live up to over the next two hours is what we mean by the content marketing revolution. So uh, who we are, we're Percolate, as Toby mentioned. We're a company that's very proud to be right here in New York City. We have nearly 100 people in New York City. We also are opening offices in London and San Francisco. We're a company that's about three years old. The vision of the company is really to transform marketing and the marketing industry through technology. Everything we'll show you today is how technology is changing the entire industry that we all work in as marketers and how we're constantly trying to build technology to further the transitions that we're currently going through. But to understand where we are today, we really want to go back to where we started and really start to look at this idea of content marketing. The web as we knew it when it was about search and it was about banners and it was about microsites and it was about email. Social really changed those definitions of content in really interesting manners, right? What was happening at sort of a macro level was we were moving from campaigns, right? And this idea as marketers where we spun things up and then took them down in our campaign-based thinking to a world where we had to think about sustained communication and how we were never going to go dark and how we were always going to be on, always creating content, always figuring, you know, what should we tweet next or what should we tweet about. But to understand where we were when we were thinking about this, when we first started Percolate, sort of in that, this time of late 2010, early 2011, I want to look at where social was. So Facebook, right, in late 2010 had a valuation of $11 billion. In late 2010, you know, Twitter was the butt of every revenue joke, right? They didn't have any revenue, and it was, almost, it was always just sort of thought that there was a lot of visionaries inside of Twitter, but there was no revenue model. LinkedIn at this time, again, go back to 2010, was a professional network. I laid that all out with the idea that social has changed tremendously, that the value in social has changed tremendously since 2011. So what happened? The answer is pretty simple, and it's actually an answer you know, which is mobile. Mobile changed and simplified the entire process of how we think about marketing. Right? It took away the concept of flash, it took away the concept of banners, it took away the concept of everything that we might want to do as marketers in the web phase of digital and totally simplified it. And the growth in mobile is something, again, that is, is, is like un something we've never seen before in the past. Within six years of actually launching their products, you've got Android with over one billion users and you have iOS steadily marching towards one billion users. No one has ever used technology platforms at that sort of scale ever in the history of technology. So let's look now at how mobile changed social. So here's a snapshot of social as of last week. Facebook's worth $163 billion. Twitter is $30 billion. It's gone public. It's found a wonderful business model. It's working with leading brands around the world, small and large. LinkedIn has very much become a place where as a brand, you communicate on the platform through content. And then Google. If you see what Google is doing strategically with Android and how they're thinking about Google+. And so this is a great snapshot of what this new world looks like. What this graph shows you is the market cap valuations of those social mobile media companies compared to traditional media. These companies are, are the largest media companies in the world. And what they need, of course, is marketing solutions for all of us people in marketing that want to, of course, use these platforms to reach our global social audiences. How can we piece the past in order to understand the future? The message of any medium or technology is the change in scale or pace or pattern that it introduces into human affairs, right? And what we like to do at Percolate is think about this idea and not just think about human affairs, but think about how technology is going to change how we think about being marketers. So from a scale perspective, how do we need to think about marketing? Something we've never seen before. In 2013, what you see, of course, is that they propagate, right? Facebook is the leading social platform in almost every major country in the world. Social is no longer the zero-sum game that we thought about it as when it first started. Actually, there's enough room and mobile creates such an opportunity that you have so many platforms now with over 100 million active users. And the important thing to understand for any of the dominant platforms that we now talk about is almost all of the growth is not domestic, right? All of the growth is international. So that's how we want to think about scale. How do we think about the pace of media? And this is quite simple, right? It's the stream. And the stream is pretty easy to understand. We're looking for new content, right? We're searching, right? We're wondering what's next. In a mobile social world, you pull your screen to find context. And finally, pattern. Look at the effects of technology. The effects of social and mobile is basically this technology is almost using us as people 
to create all of this content, right? Naturally, your phone is built with a camera, right? And what happens is people love to take photos and share them. Technology doesn't just change marketing, it changes the marketer. And I believe the first part of this is a marketer that's gonna move from campaign-based thinking to sustained communication. This idea of the marketer that was great at the 30-second spot doesn't work in a world of sustained communication, right? This is a different sort of marketer. There's a marketer that not only controls the message to external audiences, but also to the employee base. This creates a very different marketer, a marketer ideally that has a lot more power across the entire department, right? When they start to control content throughout the organization. And then of course, a marketer that moves from buying media to building systems. You have to attack technology with technology, right? Thinking along the lines of how do you build systems to deal with the changes in technology. And the amazing thing about all of this is only 40% of the world is actually connected to the internet, right? And if we know the effects of the internet, what's going to happen when you start to add the other 60% of the world? We should be excited about how are we gonna take advantage of this, right? How are we gonna allow this to change how we do our jobs and how we live our lives?